Hey guys, Rewind here, uh, with what will probably be the last episode of Dawn of Sorrow. If not, it'll be second to last. Uh, sorry it's been so long between the between, but I've uh, been distracted by other things. Also, sorry for the uh, scarcity of uploads recently, but what with me having, my, me having to fix my computer and uh, gone being uh, away at a con, We've obviously not had time to do a proper quantity of recordings. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, last time I demonstrated the uh, the what the uh, teleport off screen glitch, which is why now I'm running around with uh, a Belmont style whip. However, I also have acquired from that. The souls I need to fuse the two final weapons. So before we go any further into the abyss, I'm going to do that. Also, I want to see how, how well I can do against certain enemies with uh, this. Okay, yeah, not very well. Never mind. Okay, time to switch that out for something more useful like. Uh, Uh, no, not the not the throwing sickle. That's utterly terrible. Give me some nunchucks. With which I can look utterly ridiculous. Okay. Portal room. Give me a portal room. So we're gonna go back to the lost village. Get Death Side and the Klaheim Slice. Uh, I pronounced that completely wrong, never mind. But. Um, and stock up on potions as well, just in case. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, synthesize that. Let's see. Askel of Balmon. Final sword. And. Clammy Solus. Ding! Yeah. Claim Solus. Yeah, no. Uh, and. Death plus Golden Axe. Makes. The Death Scythe. Yeah. So now we have the two best weapons. The Death Scythe has the better overall stat value, I think. But the uh, the Soul Ice does light damage, which means it actually does more damage against the final boss, despite being weaker overall. Uh, but there's a boss between here and the final boss, and I can't remember what his weakness is, so... Uh, let's see. 131, there, and 172. And I just missed completely. Oh well. There's a map. Uh, the Death Scythe, I think, does swing slightly slower than the Soul Ice, but makes up for it in terms of total damage. Okay, and down into the Abyss. Probably should be just using some lice down here. Oh. Fire pit. And there's also another enemy down here that looks similar to if you remember in the uh, where was it? The water guy. Uh, 
Necro oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, I need to check my ability souls. Okay, I shouldn't have the Hippogriff soul yet, but Pro Cell is the one I was thinking of. Down here there's another similar enemy, the Mud Demon, whose soul allows me to move, move properly in mud. But... Uh, anyway. Yeah, so we got there, so then all of a sudden, boom, we're over here. Each one of these teleports you to the next section at the end of each one of these triangles that makes up part of a star. You've got a bit of teleports to the next section. Oh okay, yeah, this stuff here. This is the mud I was saying about. See what I mean about the uh, lack of maneuverability. And down here is. Oh, down here should be the Hippogriff, I'm sure. Maybe, maybe because I've, I've got it from that from the glitch, it's, it's registering as that I've already got it. Or is it, or is it elsewhere? In... Oh, there, there, there's the Mud Demon. With his ludicrously difficult to get soul, yeah. It only says it says it's only rarity two, but no, no chance. And it's really annoying how rare it is because you can't take it with you to, to when you start a new game plus. And you can only get it right near the end. Okay. But well, that's the end of this. Corner. Uh, I'd swear that the Hippogriff Soul was in that bit. But, oh well, I mean, it's not really that useful right now anyway. Oh yeah. Stolus. Go summons the pink, uh, whatever she's called. Anyris. He also summons demons. But Iron Golem? Or is it a final guard? Oh, oh yeah, it's a final glitch. Uh, Sod you. And uh, Malachi. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not. But uh, also. From the from that glitch that I demonstrated earlier, you got you get these souls as well, and there's also did I get the Hellfire Soul? Oh no, I didn't know one. The Hellfire Soul is what you're supposed to get once you've collected all the other souls. But I also have these, each one of which is one of the um, sub weapons from the from from Julius mode. Uh, one of which allows me to turn into a bat. Uh, but those don't get removed between a new game, between finishing a game and a new game plus. So it's a great way to keep the ability to transform into a bat between playthroughs, even though there's not really all that much cause to do so. Okay, uh, but okay, yeah, sort this ability hippogriff on. And there's the boss room for Abaddon. Uh, I didn't hit you, why did you fall apart? There we go. Uh, save. Oh yeah, I didn't stock up on potions at Hammer's shop. No, never mind. Yeah, I'll just ignore you completely. Obviously, the, I'm hoping that the uh, touchpad will be working despite the whole change in computer stuff. Oh god. See, I hate this guy.
What was it? I, I heard that there was a soul that was great for because his uh, locusts that he summons can be taken out with in one hit by pretty much bloody anything. And there was one enemy, oh, sorry, one soul that. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry, that it was in the uh, yeah. No, that didn't work. Never mind. Okay, give me some potion. Oh yeah, okay. Another thing that can happen with the glitch is you see how the the potion and the super potion here are both listed as zero. I've actually got ten. I assume 10 of each, at least minimum, because the game can't handle as a total number on screen over 9, so it displays them like that. That's completely screwed up, never mind. There we go, and... Nope! I can put that company and use... Some of my stupid amount of potions. There we go. Okay, that's a bad and down. All that's left now is the abomination. Collect the health thingy. And on to the next bit. So the next, the next point of the star. Oh look, your tail's glitching out. Never mind. Uh, is this where the Black Panther is? Yes, it is. One of, the, one of the other souls that you can't take between playthroughs because it would make you stupidly overpowered at the start. Uh, I think, yeah, I ended up with one from the glitch. Uh, do I, there we go. May not look like much, but there's that room right at the start with the zombies and the uh, two wolf, two wards, and the two axe armors. And with the the uh, the Black Panther soul, you can literally just plow through the entire room without, you know, giving the tiniest shit. And as a result, gain stupid amounts of XP. Okay, and last corner of triangle, that's not triangle, star. The room with all the, the, the area with all the spikes. Yeah. Also, the last save room and warp room in the game, if memory serves. Is it warp room then save? Yeah, it's warp room then save room. So, back to the village, get a few potions, and then back into there, 
save of the last save room and assuming my usage of the glitch did not go it didn't push my percentage up above a hundred then we will actually get a final cutscene. Yes, yes, you've got some good stuff, Hammer, don't you? always say that. Yep. Yeah, you see, because that says I've got three of them. This is what I was saying about with the uh, calm cap above nine. It says I've got three of them in my inventory, so I should, according to it, be able to buy six more. But I can't. Oh. Wait. That works? Okay, I, I that that I didn't know uh, I didn't know was possible. Oh well. Uh, da, 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 da. He doesn't have anything else I want except for the soul eater ring. But oh well, that can go. Suck it. Now to a place where the music isn't quite so good. I really don't like the music for the abyss. It's nowhere near as good as the music for the village. Or most of the other early areas. Anyway, saved. So I'll go through here, and there's another of these mirrors. Cutscene! Yes, someone's been beating up Alucard. <laughs> yep, he was too late to stop you doing something monumentally stupid. Uh, yada yada yada, yep, you failed at your job. <laughs> the power he gained from the sacrifice. What sacrifice? Oh, I'm surprised you didn't see her when you came in. That one. You see, he crucified Celia on a crucifix made of other people. Be gone! Yeah. And now... She had always yada 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 served me to the end. She should feel honoured. Take care of Alucard. Yes, because, because she did a thing. Alucard's powers are doing something stupid to him. Ah, and now he re we realised we find out just how stupid it was for him to be attempting to use the power of dominance. <laughs> Isn't easily contained. His soul isn't built to do that sort of thing. Boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. You shall not succumb to the power. Three seconds later... Okay. Yep. Destroy the thing. Quick, swing at the giant ball sack. I'm kind of amazed him doing that blade thing doesn't hurt himself. Ah, that- oh, oh shit. Nice spike glitch, you know? Oh, okay, this is bad. This is very bad. Shit, shit, shit. Um, okay. I was afraid this would happen. Uh, where is he? Where the fuck is he even, even is? He? Okay, there's one of his skin cells. And it f flew in from below. Uh, so... This is going to be worse than Gurgoth, isn't it? Because... At least with that, I knew what side of the fucking map he was on. Uh, okay. I'm gonna assume... And also with Gurgoth, there was the, uh, 
fact that I could actually attack uh, attack uh, any attack would hit his whole body. But with this guy, there's only two spots, one of which is inside the skull that opens and closes. I'm going to restart the game and uh, see if it works out better. Okay, let's try that again. Yada yada yada. Okay, remove his giant testicle. And hope he doesn't glitch out as badly this time. And I remember we fi I remember we sort of fixed Gurgoth with. Uh, with, with a reset, so maybe hopefully menace, sorry, not abomination, will be fixed the same sort of way. No, no, he's he folded himself into the wall. Okay, I guess in that case, I have to go find someone else's footage. Of the um, of the final boss, uh, sorry, of, of, of the final cutscene, and uh, show it. Or I could just leave. Yeah, no. I, I mean, I, I've been kind of skimming over the plot slightly anyway. But essentially. Uh, Menace is defeated, Alucard shows up, and they all... And, and everyone leaves and gathers in a space we've never seen before, out, out, out the front of the castle. While... Uh, or, or, well, it's not a castle, but you know what I mean. While, uh, while it collapses, and they muse on the nature of light and darkness and the Dark Lord. And eventually they come to the conclusion that if a Dark Lord is required, surely one will emerge when it is needed, and there's no need for Soma to become said Dark Lord. Uh, and then Mina shows up, and yells at Soma for leaving, and then everyone laughs at them. And they all go on to uh, go off to continue their happy lives. The end. I may have got those two bits slightly out of order. Oh well. But anyway, uh, I will not be able to defeat Menace in this case because um, he's nowhere in the sodding map. Oh, however, uh, no, let me just uh, quickly switch some equipment around. Let me see if I can... Where is Succubus? And I want... Synchrodina. Uh, okay, it's... Um, one, two, three... Okay, that works. Not too sure how useful it'll be. Especially since, since I'm in a... Yeah, since I'm in a boss battle, I can't suspend right now. Oh. Well, well, I think I have definitely broken the game. Because I should definitely not be seeing this. I still have the ability to pause. Who knows, maybe I, maybe I will actually be able to find the boss battle like this. On the other hand, maybe not. <laughs> Oh well, yep. Um, I think that does it for this episode of Dawn of Sorrow. Uh, haven't actually completed the game, but come as close as we can. I should really have verified before I st even started playing. Verified that the copy, the, the ROM I had that I'm playing from, was not glitchy as all fucking hell. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you see, now, uh, and now my controls are fucked up, and I don't have a pause screen. <clears throat> okay, well, 
I'm Rewind, this was the final part of Dawn of Sorrow, and I'll see you all in whatever series comes next. Bye-bye.